smoking with the Migos. It's just me and me and Migos. Uh. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video on the 335i. So today, guys, I'm back from my trip. You know, last night I tried to rush a video for you guys. Today, I'm gonna be grinding even more. So you guys know, I'm trying to work on the quarter panel. My goal today is at least, I'm not even gonna worry about the other side. I just wanna make sure I can get this side as nice as possible. You know, it's just so I almost have one side complete. Cause I just have to have those uh, five holes, you know, patched up. This door we ended up replacing. This door just got one bullet hole through it, so we'll fix that um, right after these holes. But I just wanna get done with like one complete side. The other side, everything's fine, but the quarter panel's got three holes, but those holes are coming out. So it's a little bit, you know, of another story. It's gonna need some grinding, it's gonna need a little bit of cutting, a little bit of hammering in, so it's gonna be needing a lot of stuff. But guys, I just wanna let you all know that I am gonna be starting to sell these decals right here. Hashtag save a BMW. So you guys who have been, you know, mentioning how you guys like how I'm bringing back a BMW back to life, you know, got me going on, you know, trying to start something. So I was thinking, you know, hashtag save a BMW. If you guys want to rep one of these decals on your cars to show your support, if I see you guys at a car meet, I know what's up. I know you guys have been here OG from this build. These decals are only going to be selling for around $3 free shipping. So only three bucks for these decals. The link's going to be down below and it's going to show you guys the support on your guys' cars. All funds that I'll be receiving from this is going to go straight toward this build so I can make it better and better faster because the thing is, you guys know, I don't got that kind of money to, you know, do as much things as I want to. So the more money I get, the more money I can bring you guys, I mean, the more money I can put into this car to bring you guys good content. I have been looking in a couple wraps for this car, but I haven't, you know, thought about investing that much money into the wrap right now. I was actually just starting to think that, you know, what if I sell these decals and all the funds that I get from this go straight into the wrap of the car and I go ahead and wrap. So if you guys think that's a good idea, let me know. Um, so in that case, you guys have to also choose the color of the car. I think that's fair. You guys buy decals to support the build. The funds will go towards a wrap of the car and you guys have to choose the wrap for the car. So I think that's pretty fair. I might start, start doing some polls. Make sure to cop these decals down below, guys. Only $3 free shipping. I'm not going to be charging anything. If you're outside of the United States, it may be like a small charge, like $0.25, cents, $0.50, cents, because I have to pay extra for postage. You know, I can't be paying so much for postage, and at that point, I'm not, I'm not making anything. I'm just wasting gas, you know? Now, for those of you guys who um, also know, for the, the YouTube supporters, I added two new people to this list. So, thank you, Hamza, for sending me out that harness. Unfortunately, I did test fit that harness last night, and it wasn't the right harness, but since you sent it out, went out of your way, I do appreciate that the shout out to daddy 90 for sending me out that push button start awesome thank you so much you also sent me out a shirt which i you know which i repped yesterday I'll, I'll rep when i get it cleaned again but you know got a lot of bondo stuff on it if you guys want to be featured in the back of my car make sure to check out that parts list down below for parts that i need for this build or if you guys have any parts that you think this build needs or anything at all you guys let me know and uh you know you guys will be featured in the back of this car and this is not something i'm removing this is not a car i plan on selling anytime soon so you guys will be featured down on here for every car meet that I go to, you will be represented. Don't worry, you guys, this is not coming off. This is no joke. This, I'm keeping this on here. And on this side, guys, I'm gonna be putting all my sponsors like Burger Tuning, um, ECS, and I'm thinking about putting one other brand that I mentioned last time uh, once, he, once he mails me out the product. So we're gonna be getting a lot of cool things going on over here. I don't know if I should put it on this side or should I put it on the side of the car right here? You know, like, you know, race cars, they put like all their car sponsors on here. I think that'd be kind of dope if I put it on this car. Um, but of course, then at that point, I needed something like a nice wrap. I don't want something like crazy or should it be crazy? You guys get to decide. I don't know. A lot of you guys have been telling me to stop with the color shifting wraps. You guys want something solid. So you guys let me know. That's going to be all up to you. If you guys want to support the wraps, support the build by any way, um, parts list down below and purchase those decals to fund the wrap for this build. It's only $3, guys. Only $3. Without further ado, I'm not going to get you guys um, waiting any longer. Let's go ahead, um, start patching up, start sanding those things down there, put more Bondo, fix everything we need to fix, and get to it. All right, guys, so we out here making plays. So honestly, that needs a little bit more Bondo, but I figured out how to make it perfect. That, for some reason, is an indentation, like from the bullet kind of pushing the frame kind of inwards. Not the frame, but you know, the quarter panel. So I, I'm gonna try to, I can't really hammer it out, honestly, because I already put the stuff in the back. Uh, I might just, it doesn't, it's not that big of a dent, but I do want, I do want to get that fixed. So I'm gonna put a little bit more Bondo, try to get the surface per, as perfect as I can. That's probably gonna be the hardest thing, because you guys can see there's like, this line going. So I'm gonna try to work down here and try to avoid this line so I don't mess up anything. Uh, but that's that. Down here, that's pretty flat. As you can tell, it needs a little bit more Bondo there. 
That one's perfect, almost perfect. That one needs a little bit more Bondo right there. Uh, but yeah, it's looking really good. I'm gonna put some Bondo real quick and then, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and stand it for the third time and we'll see where, we, where that gets us, I don't know. In the driveway My friends aren't far In the back of my car Lay their bodies as you guys see, put on a bonder right there. I'm trying to get the shape right there, so I'm gonna have to be working at that a couple more times. Probably keep standing it down, bringing it back up, whatever I gotta do, that's whatever. That part, I'm pretty sure I can finish down there, which is the second bullet. So one bullet, two bullet. The second bullet I can probably fix, you know, on this second try. The third bullet's already got fixed on the first try. Um, so two more bullets, which I believe I could patch those up real easy, the one down there and the one down there. So I'm feeling I can fix all that real quick. Uh, just gotta give it about an hour. I'm gonna give it about a solid hour for it to dry. And then the one up here, I'm gonna probably, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get the best shape that I could possibly can. The shape is not too warped, but at the same time, I want it to be perfect because this is gonna be my show car. I want it to be really nice, very mint, but at the same time, I don't wanna use so much mono like the last time because, um, Twinkie, which is the body shop I took it to, he told me that the, the Bondo should be no thicker than like, you know, uh, it was like a centimeter. It was like very, very, like a hairline. I don't know. The Bondo should not be that thick. So if the metal is pushed in, you got to bring the metal out and use the Bondo in between all the little, you know, all the little gaps that you, you can't really pull out. So that's what Bondo is meant for. Apparently it's not meant for, you know, a giant indentation, which I'm a dumbass because I try making a whole wide body out of it because I'm, you know, I'm very bright in life. Anyways, so I'm going to go ahead and let this uh, cure. I'm going to give you about an hour. I'm going to go upstairs, play some Fortnite. You guys know how it is. If you guys want to add me on Fortnite, it's Natty Trick. Natty Trick right here. Same as my, uh, actually don't mind that. But if you guys want to add me on Fortnite, you already know your boy be playing Fortnite. Um, so I'm gonna be playing that while I'm waiting. Um, I'm hoping I'm not too dirty to go upstairs. We'll have to see. But yeah, I'll catch you guys back in about an hour. Alright guys, so we have some good progress. I also noticed there was a dent on this door, so I'm gonna go ahead and just patch that up real quick. Should be very easy, so that's no problem. Um, this is honestly turning out great. That bullet hole is literally, you can't even notice it once I paint it. That one, you won't be able to notice it. This one has a little bit of a lump, and I thought about just, you know, just leaving it, but you know what? I'm gonna go at it, I'm gonna make sure it's clean. I'm not gonna cheap out on this car. I'm well, not cheap out, because you guys are telling me I'm already cheaping out because I'm not using fiberglass or, you know, I'm not welding it. But I mean, you guys, this is this is not like I'm putting some duct tape over and spray painting over it. Like this is a fix. This is an actual fix. Now, sure, this isn't the best fix, but this is a fix, guys. So for those of you guys who uh, work on cars all the time and telling me this isn't the best fix, it, it, it's a fix that works. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. So if you post that comment, I'm not even, don't, don't expect me to respond to that comment. So this is the one I'm trying to perfect right now. That's the hardest one. That one is flush, perfect, flush, flush. That one's a work in progress, but that one's gonna be like, this is this is done. Like I just gotta sand that off, that's done. That one just needs a little bit of work, and that one is gonna be done once I sand it. That one's a very minor dent, but it's gonna show through the wrap. Um, I also noticed down here, the metal's kind of coming out for some reason, so I don't know if I'm gonna hammer it in just a little bit, and then put a little bit of Bondo over that one. Um, but that's that's as far for this side. I mean, I do need to fill, fix that bullet hole later, but I have to put up the door panel and work from the back of that. So I'm not gonna do that right now, but uh, I'm just gonna focus on these ones right now. I'm gonna go ahead and take, uh, you know, a good 30 minutes to an hour break. I'm gonna go upstairs, chill, and um, come back down when it's ready to work on the car. I don't wanna go inside my other car because I wanna install the push start button as well. So I wanna show you guys that push start button that Daniel sent out to me. It's really sick, it's a red one. I wanna install it on my 330i, mainly because it's gonna be one with the trim. So when I take the trim out of the 330i, I could just slam it on this one. I don't have to take the push start out of that one and swap out the trim and re-put everything back together so I'm gonna put it in the 330i it is my daily it's what I drive anyway so I might as well enjoy it and then when I'm done when I take out the entire trim it's gonna be with the trim throw it on the 335 it's gonna be in the 335 so don't worry it's gonna be the 335 but I'm putting it on my 330i because I'm gonna be taking the trim out of it all right guys I'll cut back to y'all in about an hour all right guys so we're back in the garage we're gonna be working on the car some more I'm really happy on how everything's turning out honestly patching up some holes is not that hard anybody can do it at home um, fixing a whole quarter panel, it's another story because I, I, I don't know I don't know what I was doing. I literally had maybe a, maybe a two inch deep Bondo layer. 
Yeah, that's how bad it was. So patching up these little holes that are literally like a, like that thin is you know you really can't mess up. You can't really go wrong. Unless the whole quarter panel was pushed in, but in my case, I'm good. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and sand off these two areas, the door as well. Once we do all that, I'm gonna go ahead and try to see if we can get the 330i in the garage when I clean it all up, because my dad's gonna kick my ass. And then uh, I'm trying to install the push button start, because I really wanna see that red button. Oh my God, this makes such a difference. I might even reach out to Mishimoto and see if I can get that other red button that's on the steering wheel and just get like a red button thing going on. I just love it. I don't know, red button just make you feel cool, you know what I mean? <laughs> sunlight outside I've been working till night thing is we're working with Bondo you have to give us some time and that's how it is with you know Bondo just takes long to work with so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and take the car out we'll wait till tomorrow to actually paint it right now I'm gonna actually get it outside clean it up get the other car inside install the push start and uh, yeah we'll see how the push start looks but I'm gonna get this car outside clean it up make it look nice and then just you know get it ready for tomorrow because uh, I want to paint these spots and see if you can actually see if it needs to be sanded anymore or it looks flush Alright, so before actually washing that car, actually before actually installing the push start on this one, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just wash that car because I just want to get it cleaned up. And just get the general gist and then once we do that, I'm going to go ahead and uh, actually install the push start because I actually want my hands to be clean as well. So, assuming when I wash a car, I'm not going to like wash it, like detail it, kind of wash it, like a really good wash. I'm just going to like rinse it down with water and then use a towel. I'm not going to use soap or anything. Mainly because the bondo is exposed at the time as well, and I, I just want to make a quick wash, just get all the dust off the car. So that's all I'm going to do right now. Now I know I'm hurting. A, I'm hurting a lot of you guys for not actually drying the car right after I wash it. I know, I know. But let me get to one of the main things that I know I'm going to get a lot of dislike for. I'm actually reading the comments. I'm getting notified constantly on my phone. I'm, I mean, shout out to you guys for actually for killing it on the videos. You guys have been killing it on these series, and I love you guys so much for that. But at the same time, I'm getting a lot of feedback saying you guys only... You guys are saying only Bondo a car if it's like a Civic or like a, like a Nissan. You're not supposed to be Bondoing a BMW. That doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense. I'm glad this quarter panel was completely destroyed. I tried bonding it up, it was a terrible job. I got down to a body shop, what they did was pull out the frame and then still bondo it up. So that's what they did, and they still use bondo. And guess what? They use a little bit of fiberglass and then bondo. That's pretty much all they did. So if anything, you guys are gonna be mad at me for not using fiberglass. But then again, guys, the damages are very minor. Like if you guys think about a bullet, a bullet is so small, it's not gonna cause that much damages. Plugging that up with a little bit of bondo and then getting that clean surface, is a very easy fix. And for those of you guys who keep bashing on me for using Bondo, I mean, what is Bondo used for then? Like, I mean, is there somewhere on the BMW that says do not use Bondo? I mean, like, what the hell? When you paint it, it's gonna look like OEM. You're not even gonna know anything. As long as you get that nice line, you're good to go. I mean, most of the holes didn't even damage anything with curves. Maybe that one spot that I, that I can't get that perfect line, I will take you down to a shop and they will fix that up. But then again, that's the only thing I'm gonna do. The rest of it, I know I can do myself for the low and it's gonna look just as good as doing it another method. It's not gonna crack and fall off. The only way it will crack and fall off is if it was, if it was a big chunk piece, like if, and, and there was nothing sealing it from the outside like paint. I'm gonna be sealing it, bottom line. And there's gonna be wrap above it. I mean, there's not much I can tell you guys. I mean, this is this is as solid as it can get. I, that's just for the haters that keep messaging me, telling me that, you know, don't do this, don't do that. I, I mean, I appreciate that. I appreciate you guys', you guys um, you know, you guys' comments. And you, I know you guys are just trying to help me. But at the same time, guys, I'm not trying to take it down to a shop 
and then they're gonna have to touch because basically it's not like a charger. They're gonna look at it always oh, to redo this entire quarter panel. We're gonna have to put fiberglass, all this stuff, all over again, and then they're probably gonna end up using bondo because every shop's gonna use bondo. And then the other quarter panel they're gonna charge you for that. Then that single door, and then that rear door. They're pretty much just a whole car. So we're talking maybe maybe at the least like three to four hundred bucks, which is not that bad. It's not that bad. But if I can go do it with supplies I already have because I still have a lot of bondo and stuff, if I can do it for free, why not? If I mess up. I take it down to them. No harm, no foul. I should probably start something. You know, I trust the process. Anyways, I know you guys are probably tired of me talking and I let the car dry for too long. I need to go dry it so we can go ahead and work on the, uh, the, the 330i with the push start button. All right, guys, so as you can see right there, you guys can't really see much, but all bullet holes are gone. That, that part down there is so good, so clean. All this is pretty much fluid, so that's all good. I can't wait to show you guys when I actually get all this stuff painted tomorrow. This part was a small dent and it's looking really good right now, so I'm really happy about how that turned out. And yeah, that's pretty much that. I mean, we do have to work on the door in a later video, but um, yeah, so that's all done. It is getting a little bit dark and I need to get my dad's cars in the garage before he flips out on me. I don't know why, but if this car's not in by the time he goes to bed, it's 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 no no more nor for about a week on YouTube. I swear, I feel like sometimes my dad's super strict, but anyways, one day I'll have my own garage and this won't be a concern, but working with what we have, I'm blessed. Let's go ahead and get inside the 330i and install that push button because I'm super excited to see how it looks. Um, I'm gonna have to do some research on how to install it, then I'll show you guys because no point in me showing you guys if I don't know how to do it. All right, so we're about to say goodbye to this black button with this M3 steering wheel. I cannot wait for that to be red. So I'm gonna go ahead, take off this trim. Uh, once I do that, uh, we'll see where to go from there because I've never actually done this before. I'm gonna see if I can set you guys down, but I pretty much just got it out. Apparently you're supposed to push this button. Oh, what the heck? Oh hell nah, this piece just, oh hell nah, I have to figure that out later. But I'm um, basically, I need to push this button out somehow. Do I, how does that work? Oh, shit, I don't wanna break it. I'm gonna go ahead and sit you guys down and see if I can do this. Oh my god, shout out to you Daniel bro, this looks so sick. Let's go ahead and install this bad boy. Alright guys, look at that, that looks dope. It actually has a matte finish to it. I think the other one was gloss because it does feel a little bit different. I don't know, but there's only one way to go in, but it feels like it's a little bit off, but... Nah, maybe it's just my eyes right now, I don't know. Maybe it's just a tad bit off. No big deal. Let me go ahead and start up the car. Oh yeah, this one isn't keyless. It looks so dope, look at that button, Like, look at the aluminum trim. And just that red push start, it just looks so great. Damn, all right, that's definitely, I'm putting that on the 335. So that's when you're kicking the turbos, bam! Can't forget about that BMW air freshener. You gotta keep it all looking clean. Oh my lord, look at that, damn. Okay, I'm, I'm happy with both of my girls. You know, one of them is getting a really nice push button for now, and the other one's getting patched up, so, Everything's going pretty well. I mean, let's not jinx anything. So I want you guys to say that everything is going terrible because then things will get better, you know? Just that's how jinxing works, right? Make sure to get those decals, guys. Hashtag save a BMW. If you guys get those decals, those funds are gonna be used to purchase the wrap for this car and I'm super excited to wrap it. But of course, we're not wrapping it without a body kit, but if you guys purchase those decals, they're gonna help out the channel so much. And if you guys wanna be featured in the back and have your guys' names in the back of the car, it might actually be the outro might be the outro picture of this channel. So your guys' names will be the end of my videos and at the same time permanently in the back of my car. If you guys can, do if you guys can donate any of those parts down below, that would mean the world. All right, guys, without further ado, peace out. And I'll see you guys in the next one, probably when I get some mods. Shout out him a line and she's trying to get up on me. I tell her, like, Habibi, that's too hot on my life. What they are, I was raised with some mods. Everyone got a friend named Habibi.